Hi guys, GFullFBB here. Recently, I bought this a new drone. It's Beta FBB Pabo series, and specifically, it is the Pabo Fem2 Brushless Whoop Quadcopter 04 ELRS 2.4G version. 04 means the DJI 04 Air Unit and ELRS 2.4G is the receiver module of the drone. This is a drone, very small, but uh, I kind of like the design. I like the old block thing and quite sturdy plastic. So I can crush this drone. My problem with this drone is its receiver module because what I have is this DJI controller 3 and DJI goggles 3. So I need to tweak the configuration of this drone in beta flight in order for me to fly this with my DJI controller 3. Before we proceed with the configuration of the drone, let us bind all the equipment first. To bind the equipments, let us turn it on. To turn on the DJI O4 uh, in the drone, so we need to attach the battery. But if you attach the battery, the DJI O4 here will easily overheat. So you need to have a fan next to it so that uh, it prevents from overheating. All devices now are turned on. So let's put them on binding mode let's start with the goggles so just need to long press the power button so it means that it's in binding mode so we bind the drone first so we just need to press the little button on the DJI O4 Once it's green, it means it's they are binded. And let's bind this controller also. So when all lights are green and steady, then it means they are all binded. So if you happen that you haven't switched to DJI O4 unit. You can switch it here in status, then switch, then select the DJI O4 Air Unit if you haven't done so. Next is we need to check the settings, then control, then we need to set the protocol to SBUS about fast. Let us now configure the drone. Make sure you have USB Type-C cable and this adapter. The adapter comes with the drone. We have now connected the adapter to the drone and it's blinking. And you need to have USB Type-C cable to connect to your computer. Now you need to open your beta flight and make sure that it's detected here. Let us now update the proper firmware. So let's click this button and click auto detect. So we will use the latest version. And make sure the radio protocol is SBUS and the motor protocol is DSHAN. Then load 
firmware online then let's flush the firmware so let's create a backup for safety it's now erasing the current firmware then it will load the new one so it says programming successful so let's now connect to to the drone it gives me this warning so close let us now set up the proper orientation of the drone so you go to setup tab then as you can see the drone in the beta flight is inverted but uh, here it's uh, properly oriented so we need to calibrate the accelerometer so so at this page, make sure that uh, your drone is the same with the diagram. So mine is a bit off. So in order to fix that, we will change from configuration tab and So this is now correct. Let us now go to the receiver and in this uh, view, we need to check that uh, our controller is working. So whenever I touch here, uh, there should be like a movement in here. So, to do that, we go to ports, then we enable uh, serial receiver in Wart 5. We also need to turn on this Wart 4 so that we can get uh, information from the air unit to the goggles and vice versa. And we save and reboot then we go to CLI then we set S bus to on and we save so we will go to receiver and check so so as you can see there are movements in there are movements already So we know now that uh, we, we are receiving signals from the controller. Next is to uh, set the modes. So we need to have this arm. So with the, I'd like to have this as the arm switch so away from you should be like this arm so
and here should be arm so I'll move this bar here next we add this angle and horizon so these are uh, drone modes that uh, uh, affect how the drone is flying that on this switch here so uh, away from you that's uh, nothing happens there so second will be the ang the angle mode and uh, the one near to you should be the horizon mode so I'll move this here and we will add the beep so this one will be my beep so so this will be my mode settings just this four and we save next is we check the the motors so reorder motors and I understand there is then start so a motor in the drone is spinning so I need to select which part so this one this one this one this one so, same now let's go to motors again and let's check if the rotation is correct so uh, we'll do this we will try to turn the drone one by one so motor one which is this which is this one so the orientation is here so we need to check if the rotation is corresponding to this diagram So, once the rotation is correct, then we disable the motor. Next thing is the PID tuning. So, I set the profile. Just set this to 10. Then I have 920 here. So just set the expo to 50. Fifty and fifty. So set this to ten. Point fifty then. Then we save. So 
that's it. We're done with the configuration and let us now test if we can fly the drone. So it worked and that was my flying skill at the moment. So if you like this video and you learned something, please like, share and subscribe. See you till the next video.